this here's home of the homesteader here at the Peace of Eden Homestead. Just finishing up with a little bit of handsaw work. I got me some new battery operated tools, but as I found out, the batteries don't come charged. So I got to go to the trusty old handsaw. Finishing up with uh, ripping the, the third piece here of nine foot plywood. I ain't never seen such. This was nine by five. I'm going to use uh, a couple of these pieces to hold around. This is the continuation, the insulation. I'm going to use these around the bottom of the uh, supports. I'm going to show you I put up. Let me finish cutting this. And I'm going to that. And you might notice Homer's working with his left hand. He is primarily right-handed. And one of the things he wanted to work on here was becoming ambidextrous. Uh, that's a big word for a hillbilly instead of gander. And that does it with the camera falling over at that last little bit. If I'm still taping, that ought to be an interesting shot for y'all. And it seems I still was. But uh, so far, cut off three one-foot pieces and then leaving a two-foot piece in the middle uh, along this side of the RV I'm gonna put a foot high piece these these braces are nine or eight feet apart so I have some stick out here by this pipe and then these two on the end are seven I have it stick out about two foot almost to the electrical outlet there or inlet and then I'm going to put that third piece up above them so it's about a foot off the ground. And we'll tie it in. It'll give some, the, I'm going to drape the insulation over the top here and down the side. And that'll give it some place to hold the, keep the snow and the water out. I'm going to wrap it in plastic. I put up these supports across the back. Like I said, that plywood was five feet wide. I got three one-foot pieces I'm going to put up over there. Two-foot piece across here to kind of hold these makeshift uh, supports up. Now, there's two things. Mind you, two things Homer wants to do with this. One is to stay warm. And the second is to be able to reuse as much materials as I can. That's why I'm covering the insulation with some plastic to keep it dry. I put these two bys that we ripped on the sawmill from Poplar. Uh, I put these up with just a couple screws. I might go up there and show you so that come spring when I'm getting ready to do this more permanent light, I can take them down. So up here in these rafters, on this side I put two screws in this bottom rafter and one in the side support so they won't go back and forth. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna put Two roll, two six inch piece of insulation on each side and over the top here. I got to figure out how to navigate through this here bar and over that air conditioner there. I'm going to put plastic up over the top of it so it'll also be on the outside. But I'm going to start on the bottom and come around. I'll give you some update as I get started with that tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to make it much further today. Uh... Like I said, 27 feet of plywood rip so far using that there handsaw. And 